this is historic. This is the first landfalling tropical storm in Southern California since September 25th, 1939. So it's been a few decades since this actually last occurred. Uh, so it's definitely a very rare occurrence, but it's just a combination of the atmospheric wind flow and also just the ocean temperatures, you know, in the Eastern Pacific that allowed it to come up to the north there and eventually come on shore across San Diego and give us what was a very, very significant rainfall for mid-August, very significant. Climate change affects the overall atmospheric and oceanic conditions that definitely then impacts the the strength and the impact of any particular weather event, whether like say it be wind or rain, hurricanes, whatever it might be. Uh, Hillary formed and became a, mod, a strong or a category for hurricane. Then as it continued moving north, you know, uh, over the coastal waters there, it gradually weakened. And by the time it came on shore at, uh, and at the Mexican border, it was a tropical storm, which means like wind speed or wind gusts between 39 and 74 miles per hour. Then as the storm continued to move northward, it continued to weaken and then it weakens to a point where it's like a, even weaker, like a post-tropical depression or something like that. And it just means the wind, it means it's weaker, more disorganized, the winds are a lot less and so forth. But when it came on shore, it did come on shore down near the San Diego area as a tropical storm. Uh, well, we did receive, uh, you, you look at the rainfall tolls across Southern California, uh, coastal areas received upwards of four to five inches. In the mountains and deserts, you had upwards of some areas in excess of 10 inches of rainfall. So with that much rainfall in such a short period of time, there are many uh, uh, reports of flooding. I'm sure you've seen some things on social media, you know, especially like in the Ukaipa area, Oak Glen, out in the deserts like Palm Springs and things like that. A lot of significant flooding. I think you potentially see, you know, things like this happen in the future. Anything on the immediate horizon? Obviously not, but I think potential was at is always going to be there because this proved this did occur, you know, first time since 39. was about three quarters of the way up through the two culverts. One was blocked. I cleared a lot of that stuff out this morning. And uh, of course, it's just a trickle now. So it was not safe to go down there. You never want to go down there with that rushing water. You'll just get swept away. So all we could do is watch it. And then this morning when it's like this, I cleared everything out just in case, you know, it happened again. <laughs> But, you know, for us, it's minor. And I know we're, I think we're under an evacuation order, but we just shelter in place because we're all capable. No one's, you know, frail or older or anything like that. So um, that's what we always do if we can. And just ride out the storm. Pack up and go? No way. No way. I mean, it, I have a saying, there, it's always something in the country, right? We have bears and coyotes and bobcat here, all types of predators. We had fire come up to this road a couple years ago. The El Dorado fire came right up here. And no, it's, it's, you just you just ride it out. And, you know, it, it's, it's a frame, frame of mind as well. It's, you know, we're not here to, you know, li live amongst the, the elements and then pack it in when it gets tough.
<laughs> so, yeah. I'll walk with you. So, so tell me your story. Yeah, about 11:30, we wanted to sleep thick in the storm was done. About that time, 12 o'clock, I hear this big bang downstairs. Go downstairs to find out that the fireplace was pulled out where the water came in through. And uh, within a matter of three minutes, my whole back, my whole bottom floor was filled up with water to waste level so eventually we went to the patio second story patio balcony and uh, from there on we decided to go on top of the roof was our best bet for shelter five of us with a two and a half year old baby and uh, we did make it to safety by a good Samaritan coming and actually passing by and picking us up all five of us from the roof 